Wish on the Sun. Hey everyone, it's David and Dylan here casting from WishOnTheSun.com with the Star Series 5 Grand Final here. The Star Ladder. <laughs> Pretty close. <laughs> It'll do. Uh, no Tidehunter against Fnatic. And here we are with the players picking. We've got Lone Druid, Keeper of the Light, Gyrocopter, Rubik, and Night Stalker for No Tide Hunter. We, by the look of it, has changed their name to Alliance. Or did they break up? I'm trying to remember. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Fnatic, we have Puck, Prophet, Earthshaker, Leshrac, and Sven. Some pretty decent stuns. Yeah, I was about to say, team. a lot of stuns on that team. I suppose, yeah. You got you got two guaranteed stuns on the on the top No Tide Hunter, and you got, well, two guaranteed and one. Which requires a bit of aim, but with the other two, I suppose it becomes guaranteed anyway. <laughs> but either way, we've got our players picking their current characters at the moment. Uh, you probably already know Ten who's won the game, remaining. but that doesn't matter. We just decided <laughs> to cast this to uh, get some more Dodder experience, and we Five have heard that this is a remaining. brilliant game to cast, so we'll see. And we're just going to say it, I, we don't actually know who wins, so... We don't. We're we probably don't. the only ones who don't. And we don't want it. Have you got any thoughts here? Are there any like uh, key laning combinations you can see in the team lineups here? Panda. <laughs> Prepare for battle. Whatever the panda is, I've got that courier as well. There's nothing wrong with that. I suppose you have to have that courier to be watching this game. Yeah. That is very true. What courier is that? The winch or the worm? Oh well. <laughs> Better than my courier. Sending out some trees to do a bit of scouting early. It's alright. As we can see, we're they're looking for early early initiation here on the sides, but they obviously we're not really going to cross each other, I think. That's the way to do it. Panda here going off by himself. Good <laughs> lad. And as as the symbol says, if he tries to attack, he'll be teleported back to Lone Druid because he's too far away. All right, they're still scouting. Good scouting on the on the trees from Prophet, making sure where they're going. Should probably should have sent one up here to die to see who was going up there. But we are going to have Lone Druid down in the bottom lane, and I'd say he'll be up against. Who would he be up against? Who's your pick, David? Uh, well, uh, I'll tell you in about a minute's time. I assume Puck will be our mid, and by the look of it, Nightstalk will be mid so we can start roaming come night time. Yep. That'll be the way to do it. Players are sharing content. What content have they got to share? They can share the Dr. Kleiner and the Mega Kills Axe. I wonder, I wonder how long it's going to be before <laughs> they have their own custom begins. HUDs and everything that you can buy. It'll come. It will. We've got our awards down here. No, no awards from Fnatic. Mm, that's interesting. That means Guess they're confident in uh. What is that a ward? That's a ward. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, no ward on rune. They don't care about the runes, I suppose. And yep, yeah, Puck Knight Stalker on top, and we're gonna have. Oh, we got the early here by the bear. The bear just doing some scouting. <laughs> and Lone Jewel just hanging about up here for larks. He doesn't need to get up in the mixer. Interesting introduction. Um, Nothing. You can see on the top side, it looks like we've just got a. Uh, both Rubik uh, and Gyrocopter, and Gyrocopter's pretty much free farming right yeah, now. Yeah, the, the aim of the game now is to let Gyro do his free do his free farming. These lads are going to be trying to pull the creeps. As we can see, Rubik pulling the creeps like a pro. And you'll be getting the same thing from the bottom lane, with these people just hanging around. <laughs> just making sure, that they're basically there just for fodder to make sure that no one's getting ganked, to then walk over and get some experience off the creeps. But a noble role. It is. I get the pressure up on the mid lane here. The old Puck will have the advantage of Night Stalker because he's ranged. Until night time. Yeah, it's right, until night time where this low health will just get absolutely obliterated. And Nature's Prophet farming up as he should. I uh, wonder if he'll be going for a hand of Midas early. Who knows? We'll find out very shortly. What we the got? bear still hanging around. Yeah, the bear's always going to be hanging around, just making sure he can see what they're doing. I mean, he's got so much health early. Yeah. No, no one wants to waste mana on moves and things like that. Right. So we've got the Nature's Prophet who's TP'd to the top lane. The oh. glorious Coddle bro. You've got to hate facing Coddle. You really do. I don't know. He's just so frustrating in the lanes. He's got some charm. <laughs> and there we see that flat cannon going off. It's just recently, well, by recently, a few months now, the gyrocopters turned into such a Radiant such a favourite with how beastly he can be with that flat cannon. Yeah, he's a really good character now. Oh, and up goes the up goes the prophet. Oh, they think that he stepped out, but no, they're just going to pull back yeah, there. Yeah, they've got really nothing after that stun because gyros don't Radiant level their stun anymore, so it makes it a bit harder. Oh. He's going to get away safely there. Radiant's top tower is under oh. attack. And Shaker, Shaker goes, claims the double damage. He has, and he's just chasing him down. He's probably praying no, for not. Puck to come over, but no, it's not going to happen. Nah, no need there. 
And again, we've got Sven doing the farming on the top lane, on the bottom lane here. Sven is uh, another one you want up. He's nice and beefy. That's what matters. Oh, he's oh, that's in. pretty. Oh, oh and that's, that's great combination there. That's the three stuns. That's what matters. But is Sven gonna go down? Oh yes, he will. Oh, oh, oh that was very, very close. Yes, it was. Got down to six HP there, Sven. And they've taken their first tier one in the top lane here. The old no tide hunter doing well, but. They did suffer first blood. Lone Druid going down. Even with all that bear playing, still down. It's always going to be tough though when there's so many people down there ready to pound. Three stuns when you think about that's it. That's exactly right. And I mean, think, that's an AoE stun. That's an AoE stun, and so is that. Yeah. It's just so rough when they combine. Radiance top tower is under attack. Yeah. Profit so far only with like eight last hits. It's not that much. What about the gyro? Sitting on 19. Oh. Quite a difference, but I mean, Prophet was jungling for a while, but he's been forced to go to the top lane. Well, that's the thing, you just can't let him push there forever. But still, nice stalker with 14 last, 15 last hits. I suppose he's been using his void to last hit, though. Mm. But smart play, 20 here for the puck. But as a range, he should be taking that domin, he should be dominating that lane until night time. <laughs> that's where it'd be interesting. And again, the bear harassing, so he can just see exactly what's going on here. Prophet has pushed the lane far enough that he's going to go back and farm. Very smart. Doesn't want to venture out by himself, so he just pushes the lane and then goes to, goes back to farming. Yeah, it's the right decision for Prophet as well. Definitely seems it. You just want you want him to be beefed. You, he really needs to control that farm. He does, and you really want him pushing his lanes later games. So the more farm he can get, the better he can push the lane. Definitely. Teleport away, push another lane. Just to really harass and make you sick. How close are we getting to night time? It's a little bit off, isn't it? Yeah, 2 p.m. at the moment. 3 p.m.? 3 p.m., yep. Won't be long. Won't be long. I think we'll see this nice little sort of starting to, uh, he's in Oh, he's... No, he's still just annoying. Yeah. Okay, he gets a denying, but... What has he leveled? If he's level 5 and he's got two levels in Void, and he's got none in Attributes, is he just hanging on to a bunch of levels? That's really unusual. Yeah, unless there's something going wrong here, but that just seems quite strange. <laughs> I would have thought he'd be putting in points into Hunter in the Night, or is he going to wait till it hits night time and then pump him out? I don't know what's happening here. We will find out soonish. We Ish. will. We got level five here. He's got no. Oh, there we go. Stay near. But again, he's level six. Knuckles. Oh, and, and oh, Prophet comes in as well. Prophet comes in. He's going to get the kill. Oh, oh no, he's not. The Night Stalker. Oh, 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 and the oh, puck dodge so there. So close. Brilliant. Good work on the Coddle to come out of nowhere to help though, but what an escape as well. Yeah. Jeez. I still will be a very, very happy man right now. Happy demon thing. Again, he's got... I really don't understand what's going on here. There must be something going wrong with the skills. You can just assume he's gone 100 in the night. Oh, there we go. And then he's just pumped the levels in right then. He has. Okay, so well, there wasn't anything going wrong. It was the standard. And okay. It, yes, so he was too engrossed to take those few... <laughs> Seconds to put the levels in. I'm not sure. Or maybe there's some better game. He, maybe he didn't want to show Park that he was getting a level in silence. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. We'll be able to find out. It's very close to night time, and that's where he's hanging around. And where's he going? What's he doing? He's the man to keep the eye on at the moment. Regeneration. Following around. He has to make these minutes count, especially in the early game. That early first game night is time is just rough. It's so brutal. The early game is definitely where it matters. And people like Lestrak and Puck will be the victims. Probably they'll be who, who, who we want because of the low health. Mm. The fast attack speed, the damage on the void, the slow, the silence. It's all brutal. I know he's intelligently hanging around near his tower, but even Puck right now is probably feeling a little bit nervous. Oh, you're always nervous on that first night. And especially when Coddle's pushing up as well in support. He's waiting for his bottle, I think. We've mm. dropped a sentry ward down here. He's uh, biding his time. He's certainly not pushing it yet. No, he's not yet. I'm not sure so far who the sentry ward will be for. But this is also giving him the opportunity to catch up in some of those last hits that he hasn't really been able to get. That's exactly right. He's sitting on 33 at the moment, whereas Puck's on 38, so he definitely has caught up. Yep. Alright, and he's off for a and walk now. I think now. this might be the moment. Oh no, he's heading to, uh, heading to the top lane. He really wants to come around the back. Oh, maybe I think he was hoping to catch a prophet or someone yeah. off guard. The prophet's out farming, so that won't happen. 
Look at that beautiful face in that portrait. <laughs> <laughs> I do love that when it hits night time, the face splits open. When it goes very back, creepy touch. When it goes back to daytime. <laughs> Puck just keeping his eye out. That would have been a nervous moment for the other team then, just because when he disappears, you've all got to be so alert. Oh, yes. Just some dewarding happening there, so they know there's, they're hanging around. But again, nothing's really happening on this night time. Yeah. I suppose they're playing it safe. They're not letting him push. Oh, and they're dewarding as well. they got the, the Chen wards there. Yeah, well, it's the right decision. Again, well, Night Stalker's allowed to do some farming. And he will not say no, no to that. Well, you think about it, this lone druid has basically sat here the whole game and let his bear get the experience for him. Is under attack. Hey, it's, it's the safer way to do it. That's what you should be doing. That's what it seems like. Night Stalker's picked up a double damage, kept the bottled. I think, again, he's going to try and walk around, maybe try and catch someone unaware. He's going to look for that Nature's Prophet again, but he's not going to this find it. This could be him. one of his last real chances to do it this night time, I think. Well, he's still got a little while left. Yeah. But again, they're not... They're Time's not, ticking. They're not playing silly and pushing out too far, Fnatic. Yeah, and that's the key. It is. So far, they've got one kill to spend with the assist goal to see the Leshrac and uh, Earthshaker from that earlier tower dive. Which definitely paid off and came so close to Sven's death. Now we've got the we've got the prophet back down here now, very low mana. If uh, Night Stalker had been hanging around, it would have helped. But again, he was missing out on the farm there. Mm. So he's going back. To his oh, back. but I think he's going to go for Park here. Oh, oh. unfortunate by Coral. Brilliant stun by Lashrac. Brilliant. Very, very good stun. Oh, and they've locked him in. Do they want to go for him? They certainly do want to go for him. But they, oh, oh so we'll come close. so close. Oh, but hang on. Is that puck going to go down? That gyrocopter. Oh. oh, gets pulled in. And down oh, goes Lestrack as well. Very, very nice. Unfortunately, late stun by uh, Earthshaker because I guess he wasn't there in time to help. But you just had no idea which way that fight was oh, going to go for a I few didn't seconds. I miss that, but Night Stalker teleported in and take, took out Sven in the bottom <laughs> lane. Well. It's all happening. Nighttime didn't go without a, a kill for Night Stalker, obviously. That's right. Got, got one in the end. Three kills. So we got two of a gyro with, there with the ult, which helped the Night Stalker kill. And that's all we got. We got we traded three for none. That's not really a trade. <laughs> <laughs> that's a damn good trade. That's what it is. Yes, it is. What did they get? Oh, they got Sven. Oh, oh, yes. I'm looking in the wrong way. Who have they killed? Oh, they killed Lone Draw. Oh, of course they, they did, yes. Up. That's right. <laughs> And Jaro here starting his farm. With that fly cannon, he can just do this creep quite easily. There it is. That rocket barrage. Doesn't do the most damage early, but it's still enough. Now, in the level we play, Jaro Copter will go with Troll Blade, but I don't think it happens anymore. <laughs> They'll just go straight for the raw damage, I think. The level we play, you know, anything goes, really. Anything goes. <laughs> can we just check uh, how the farming's going on then? We should do that, shouldn't we? Ah, uh, let's have a look at last hits and deny oh. close. Yeah, Gyrocopter leading. Very close here for the uh, Radiant, though. 56, 55, 55. And look at that. <laughs> Barely any farm down the bottom. Oh, yeah. But, you know, at the same time, they're, they're probably... Their job. Yeah, they're realising their role. Their role's not to... Hero level, we got 9 and 9 versus 8 and 8. And four oh, down the bottom. Pretty balanced, actually. I should probably be on some action rather than just in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> XP per minute, we've got Night Stalker and Gyrocopter leading the way. Doing well, another ward going down. How about the net worth? Yep, Gyro leading there. Clear by lead. Leshrac only worth 600 bucks. <laughs> Means he's got absolute pennies. <laughs> we have a look on him. What is he carrying? Boots. That's it. Oh, but hang on, is this nice still going to take him down? Oh, surely. It's got to be all over. Silenced. He's gone. He is gone. Someone else teleporting in to try and salvage it. It's parking. It's held. But in come Rubik. Ooh. Rubik, what are you doing? Son? Was it the right decision? Well, Gyro's coming. Gets out of there. Rubik does get out of there. They traded one for one. I don't know if that was worth it for the Night Stalker. Less rack for his life. Yeah. Because I mean, his net worth basically didn't change because the money he got, he just lost by his death. <laughs> Gold per minute so far. Gyro leading well. Now we've got Sven overtaking Tom because of that death. Attack. He's one of those risky players, uh, characters to play as Night Stalker because you've got to commit when, you, when you're going to try and run in on someone. That's right, that's my specialty, overcommitment. <laughs> that's why characters like that I usually Not with well. the ladies! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Just with the gentleman. 
That is some staff creep right there. Well, that certainly is some staff creep. Yeah, there's at least three camps in there. Three camps of ancients. Just waiting for, I'd say, Sven would be able to take them down easiest with his cleave, but Prophet might take it down with his, uh, with his gentleman. <laughs> what have we got down in this bottom lane? Our tower is basically still untouched quite well. You know, Lowen Druid, I do respect the way he's playing. It's a very <laughs> passive kind of game. The Admiral Bulldog. <laughs> They're stunning that they really want that bear down. They really want that bear just down. Just do this much damage. <laughs> but it does force him to use his mana and recall him. And maybe that's worth it. And does take it off cooldown for two and a bit minutes. Here's a new question for me. Do you get experience for killing the bear? not a new question at all and you shouldn't have asked it because I don't know the answer. <laughs> if you do get experience then it's very have, worth killing. I wouldn't have thought you do. I don't even know if you get money for it. Someone can tell me. <laughs> and then you can do the commentary. Because <laughs> you obviously know more than I do. <laughs> Certainly don't. But who needs to? You see some more, a lot of uh, four men action down, down here. We've got five men coming bottom lane here. Yeah. They've smoked, smoked up. up. Who is their intended target? We've got Sven there acting as the bait. <laughs> we've, only got, we've only got four. Prophet still. Oh, have a go. Looks Here we like go. Rubik might be ready to bite. Rubik is eyeing <laughs> that he's hawk. Pulling, he's pulling more creeps. That's another stacked camp. Oh, here we go. And in it goes. That lone draw is going to go down. And bang, down he goes. Down. Gets lifted by Rubik. Comes Gyro, Rubik, and Coddle. Good stun there. They and not manage. Stalker's in. Sven's down. Traded one for one, for one, one again. again. Yeah, it's all about just being quick on those teleports. Yeah, that is going to go down to. Or is he? Oh, yes, oh, he is. Is. <laughs> <laughs> While that's all happening, Nature's Prophet's getting some good farm up top. Now, if we just have a look again at the last hits again, Nature's Prophet catching up a bit. Yeah, but Gyro still leading. Dyer's clearly. middle tower is under attack. Middle tower taking some damage from the old creeps here. But Jara's gonna come take some take attack. some pot shots in the bottom tower of the Radiant. Puck's bottled in Back and activated off. his invis. Why did he activate his invis? They're going for Lone Drawn again! Puck's gonna go. No, Puck's got no mana. Looks like Nature's Prophet just re wanting to harass here. Puck might be coming out now though. And another stacking of the creeps. No, That's a lot of creeps. Puck just doesn't he have want, enough to do anything. Yeah, he here. wants to. Because he, he doesn't want to use his bottle Radiant's because that'll un undo his infuse, I believe. But he's hanging around. Dyer's top tower he's letting everyone top. know where he is, though. And in no, Leshrak's not going to come in. Or is he? He's just waiting. Biding his time. That invis is about to run out. He desperately wants this. The invis has run out. And that's why he's just ducked around the corner. And he's used his bottle. But. Now he knows he's there. Just him down. Lestrade coming in, but will he? Prophet, have time? instant. Look at that. Just down. Beautiful work. Prophet TPs in at the perfect time. And gets, and out, and gets out, out of the out perfect of the, time. And that rocket is going to fly all the way across the map. <laughs> Lestrade being chased down here by Gyro. Lost the spin. Rubik stole the stun. That's a oh, brilliant that is move a very to steal. good move to steal. But then the stun comes back. Earthshaker has got to go down. Sven and is Earth surely going to go down. The Earthshaker stun trapped Sven in. Cost him his life. That was a very good stun. Oh, was it the Rubik stun? Rubik stole it again. Oh. <laughs> Some brilliance by Rubik here. Good work. And the characters who need the kills, Jaro and Nightstalk, are definitely paying You don't want your Coddle or your Rubik taking him. That's right. You probably would want your Lone Druid. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Lone Druid's having the game he wanted. He hasn't had the game of his life. Dyer's but he's, he's, he's kept that bottom yeah. lane. Like he hasn't lost the tower yet. Yeah, and let's be fair, there's only so much you can do when you've got so many characters. Three V one and he's yeah. primarily a weak hero until he's level Dyer's six. Middle tower That's why he was just attack. playing with his bear, I suppose. Either way. Admiral Bulldog! <laughs> he's getting there. Dyer's he's a beefy looking guy, the old lone drill. <laughs> yeah, he is when he does his TP. <laughs> Look at that face. He's <laughs> even got some mean chops on him. Oh, that, fair that facial hair. big swing he takes at the cream. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't want to be on the receiving end. Here we go. We have Puck here. He's been our intro to every fight so far. The blink. He's held the up coil. pretty well out here, actually, to be honest. He has. And he's very low health hero. Level 11 and not even 1,000 health yet. Gee. I suppose he hasn't finished boots or anything, so it doesn't matter. <clears throat> we have uh, 
profit for some reason just TPing. He really wants to farm. <laughs> now, he did go a hand to Midas, so I was right. Just for them extra levels, extra XP. And we're looking at what a um, Shadow Blade here, do you think? Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, that moves into nothing but Shadow Blade. We assume a Shadow Blade. <laughs> Again, Puck is intro. Held him down the dream core, but he's been stunned by it. He's gonna go down. Yeah, and he goes to so does Ruby. Oh, that's a good stun by Leshrac to take out Ruby. Coddle, Coddle also gets a kill. Every time it's a team fight, oh. it's oh that was so close on a uh, night stalker. The, the, uh, the armor activate and deactivate. <laughs> uh, two for one. No tide will be very happy with that. Exactly right. Great push. The lone Druid actually starting to get some farm on the top lane. He's only got his 40 last hits. This is the sort of game he would have wanted to play all along. Exactly <laughs> He'll be much right. preferring this to uh 132. When we look at it, he's slowly getting there. Slowly, but it's oh, they've just got a big lead on him. That's right now. Our prophet does have his shadow blade, so he has got an escape mechanism besides his uh sprout and TP. They're just so useful shadow blades. The skill blade. The troll blade. <laughs> Now we see we've lost some, we've got one tower apiece, both in the top lane. Not overly aggressive play just yet, we haven't really seen some all in That is really cagey, it's, you know, as soon as two people engage, there's all these people coming in to support on both sides. That's right, and I don't know what these dots mean up here. I was just noticing that myself. Ah, oh, it's because they've won two matches each. That'll be it. That's why we're into the final. There you go. But this is game four. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Oh well. <laughs> Learn. Someone teach us. <laughs> or uh, is it rep No, actually no. It wouldn't be that, would it? No, it's not representing towers, is it? As in like tier. <laughs> it couldn't be. We've got no idea, guys. We really have no clue. I'm Answers really on a postcard! <laughs> <laughs> Even though you don't know our address. Um Yes you do. <laughs> Either way, we've got no action one, just farming up a bit here. And look at all that money oh, rolling for the gyro. Let's check out his net worth now. 9,400. And that tower and is going to go down. Gyro takes 9,900. A towering oh. hit by Gyro. Oh! Oh, but I've just seen Puck has gone in on He Cotton. certainly has, but he will not. And he silences him. Oh! Oh, but it doesn't matter because the silence does not stop a TP. Pretending you knew that. I didn't. <laughs> Gets away though, very lucky. Certainly did. It's fans in here. Sign of intent though from Park. Almost got his BKB, which will make him a force. Again, nice story just slams him down. Jeez. Right when I was about to praise Park. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's got his double damage. He's going to be on the hunt right now. It's night time. Where to? It's I'm just looking. Damage. He's going to be head down, straight, straight down. To Sven. Sven must know he's running out of there. It's not going to stop. Oh, oh, I really would have expected a dive there. But he doesn't have a BKB, so he can be stunned. That's probably the only thing that swayed him. I, I assume he'll be going for a BKB now. Because there is that... Well, I think what they're first going for is a Roche. It's true, with that double damage, a Roche will be able to go down. This is the time you want it. Especially when you got the bear tanking. You can see the other team are really now, just in the no middle. there's no here from Fnatic, so they've got no idea it's happening. Yeah, although I think they might have a guess. Profit taking the top tower here. Yeah. That's a good pushing by Profit. It is. What is it? Look at all them. And he's all sure. blue. And in comes the TP. Oh. And there goes the skill blade. Oh, oh dear. It doesn't matter. Who's that got... is a bad moment for Profit. Who has the vision? Oh, it is. Rubik has the gem of true sight. Why did you hang around, son? You just expected him not to have anything. I probably would have as well. <laughs> there you go. Play for safety. Rubik, now the one to watch. Until uh, to see how long he can hold on to that gem, Rubik, but it's already gone. Rubik's it's been past two. It off to Night Stalker. Yes, Night Stalker. Because he has the Aegis. Exactly right. You really want to keep uh, those gems as safe as you can. That's exactly right. And hang on, we've got a. Could be a possible here. altercation here. He's just taking out a ward. With that gem, he's just dewarding. Very smart. The agents are still stacked. <laughs> but for how long? That's what you got to wonder. Your fanatic no tail playing the puck, doing very well, unfortunately, but he still did. Still died a few times. Yeah, I rate his game though. Zero he's for three with four assists. He's been a he's been a good initiator. Yeah, really good initiator. When you've got people, uh, when you've got Earthshaker, Sven on your team, and your puck's doing some good initiation, 
you gotta respect it. And that is gonna get fun. Look at the flat cannon taking that down. They're gonna want to initiate it because they don't <laughs> want to lose all of it, but it's gonna go down. They can't do anything about it. Cottle just frustrating them a little bit with the wave. That flat cannon with the mask, the Morgan mask, is just absolutely burying them. Might still just think. Oh, Master still just pushed Ooh. a bit far, but they they still don't have the stones to go on him. Last hits and denies. That is a lot of last hits, but Puff's keeping close. And so stand Puff. Yeah, they're gonna have to. Nice talk of taking the high ground. Oh, you can't take him down when he's on the high ground. <laughs> good to use, good to use the void on the left track because he's very low health hero. Is Puck going to pull in? No, he's no, not. No, that wouldn't have been wise. <laughs> and we're Bulldog to the side. <laughs> and they're just going to... Soffit just TP and push the bottom They just force him to watch as they take down their mid tower. Just watch this, boys. <laughs> Prophet was going to try and take that tower, but the Admiral comes back. <laughs> Saves the day. As usual. And Prophet's off with his tail between his legs. <laughs> I assume he'll be going for a uh, cheap stick with this ultimate orb. That'd be my guess. And the smoke goes down. The smoke goes down on the Night Stalker and Rubik. They're going to try and pick out some of these lads in the middle. Sven is right for the pick. No, he's, oh. he's sticking with his... No, he's staying in the middle. He's staying back for the second, but for how long? Nice is going to drop that silence. Here it comes. Oh, and he doesn't even need to because he just wasted it. Oh. oh. But the TP out. No, don't even bother. And with that BKB and, T and TP, the telekinesis is worthless. But Rubik has stolen yet another stun. It certainly has, and we can see that uh, there's just been another purchase of uh, smoke. Another purchase. That's what matters. Look at all that farm going down. Look at the attack speed. Brilliant. And what did he end up buying? Because he had a lot of money. I don't see any new purchases on him. Unless he's left it at the... Unless it's in his stash and I can't see it. Another double damage for Night Stalker. That's true. And that is going to be all that he needs to convince double him. Double damage on these two lads. To rush in here. Nah. No. No. <laughs> he doesn't know where they are. He's just looking. And right now he's flying. I didn't realise that when he had haste, he has a flying animation. Oh well. Wow. That's quite cool. Well, there you go. Stuff you learn every day, and that's why I've given Valve about 500 bucks worth of money <laughs> on keys, just opening up these chests for a dick or... <laughs> okay, yeah, it was the BKB, I was just waiting for it to get delivered. It's becoming a force, the old Night Stalker here. Yeah, definitely. We've yeah, got them all sort of hanging around the mid here. That's not going to help anyone. <clears throat> but they're scared to separate by little bit. Fanatic. How long can they resist before just diving in? It's not gonna matter when I think Night Stalker's seeing... charging at you like this. I think we're seeing it right here. He doesn't care, he's picked one off. He's, he's chosen got the BKB, he shaker. doesn't give a shit. He's oh, and he punish he's got the Aegis as well, so what the fuck That is, is a care? really good point. He doesn't give a shit. Use it before you lose it. That's right. Back he comes. He's instantly go stunned. What are you going to do? No. He's, he's not he's sure trapped in at oh. the moment. And he's trapped in again. Is he going to go down? Oh, good armor toggle there. Definitely. And he's going to get out. Good dodge by the park on the cuddle blast. Close one there for Night Stalker. He did the right thing pushing the, uh, forward there. Yes, he did. He dove when he needed to because that A just wasn't going to last too much longer. And they're going to get the tier 3 tower here. They can try for a right. I think it'll go down quite easily. Yes, yeah, looking like they'll probably get this. Definitely, surely that's got to go down. That's the one you want. They won't risk that second barracks. But that's given them uh, already quite a bit of an edge now in that middle lane. The melee, the melee barracks going down, that mid lane will eventually be down. Yeah. Simple as that. And now they can take it easy, regroup, and go for another lane if they have to. Right now, you you assume no Tide Hunter is in a very comfortable position. Yeah, definitely. They just seem to be controlling it now, but Night Stalker has been at the forefront of it. Again, let's go to the net worth. Gyro just clearly. The gyro, yeah, I've also got to give him a lot of credit. He's done what he needed to do. He's got his butterfly, he's got his mask of death, his drum, his BKB, his treads. What's next on his agenda? 
smoke. Oh, another smoke up there. Another smoke's going up. So they've got something in mind here, some sort of... I think they're just going to... They're trying to look to pick someone off who was jungling. But well, they're picking the wrong direction, unfortunately. <clears throat> Unbeknownst to them. Although it does look like the other guys have an inkling of where they are. That's exactly right, though they might not... They, one of them does have a gem, though, from memory. This lad here. It's nice talking, and he's just entered he into all four of shit. them. He's just going to take down the stuns. The rest of his team are running in as well. Jari no, old comes down. With Sven, uh, there Ruby Venn. Oh, that was a big, and big four attack. For nil. <laughs> well, the only reason Profit getting out was he TP'd out like a sack of <laughs> <laughs> Down goes the TP in the bottom lane for the Ruby to push the creeps out. Now this Night Stalker, 10 for 1, Gyro 5 for nil. The initiation, the stones attack. on the Night Stalker is what's winning these games. Yeah. Radiance and you got to say that smoke went all wrong for the... <laughs> it was just reversed the For our fanatic there, yeah. I can try and push the tower? Mm, guess not. Prophet is just taking down the Rubik though, missed that. Me. He's TP'd in to take down the Rubik. He does have the Hex with the Shadow Blade. That's some big damage. Hexing him, turning into the sheep while he just wails on him. Simple that's the thing, I still feel like nature, uh, Nature's Prophet's had a decent barracks has gone match. down here by the creeps. The creeps have taken down that range barracks. Oh, that is, <laughs> that is really not good for Fnatic. You know, you gotta think, look at all that money coming in for the gyro with that flat cannon. He's got his helm on Dominator now as well. He's feeling pretty good about himself at this moment. Oh, I can not. Look how quick this lane is going to go down just for larks. Yeah, he knows exactly when he needs to shoot. Yep. That's what matters. What's, what's the hero level we're looking at right now? We've got 18 and 18. Profit on top, though. They're both 18. Does that just mean he's got a little bit further on his tree? 260? Where's the gyro? What color is gyro? Light blue. That's not gyro. That's gyro. 728. Guys! <laughs> gyro should be on top. Yo, green fans. That's what it is. <laughs> Oh, he's farming his way away. He's farming in a while. Doing ten, well for a profit. Ten, he's, he's ten 10 1-6 well. as well for Night Stalker. Yeah, he's done well. 5 <laughs> for nil for Gyrocopter. When you got a heavy carry like Lone Druid down the bottom, doing nothing but not needing to because you've got your Night Stalker pushing out, having that brilliant mid-early game. Uproot you. It's what matters. Yeah, that's exactly right. He's getting the money for his whole team. He's helping with the fights. He's got the items he needs. He's able to charge in with all of his stones out, just saying, come and get me. And that's what matters. They're just really just Surprise consolidating Jara. their position now. Now, when you look, what is this What is this Earthshaker got? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. That's a good point. That's the kind of stuff I usually have when I finish a game, to be honest. Last hits. He's only got 20 last hits for the whole game. 30 minutes in. Ooh. Oh, I don't care because they've got the gem. And down oh, here he's going to go. Bye bye, lads. Oh, oh, but do they have a way to stop this? No, they don't. No, they don't. The lift that would be really down. sickening. <laughs> but Rubik stole the TP. <laughs> Shake it back here. As far as Earthshaker knows, his main part of the team is just getting that stun off. But unfortunately, that's true. What level is everyone? Level eight. These two lads at the bottom. <laughs> unfortunately, I think the best Earthshaker stuns I've seen were from Rubik. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fair point. And Puck knows well, what. What can he do? He can't do anything. He just pop his BKB, and it'll be all over. And he's popped his night time. It's darkness. And they're gonna take Rosh down again. I don't think they're going to have any competition here whatsoever yeah, the other there's team. No, there's no wards anyway. So yeah, they don't even know. Fnatic aren't warding. They're playing the pub game here. Really unusual. But I suppose, I mean... They don't want to waste their money. They probably can't afford it, the supports. Well, that and the fact that with Night Stalker having the, um, the gem on him... And the darkness. Yeah, it's true. He'll just destroy the wards instantly <laughs> anyway. But I suppose at least they know they're heading I mean, they there. they've got a ward up here and they know Night Stalker can't get to it. The only ones who can get to it is... Uh, Coddle and Jara and yeah. Rubik, I suppose, but I don't th I don't know if Night Stalker will be able to see it without placing a ward there, just because it's on the high ground. Can't Fra be certain. I'm frankly not too sure how concerned he is at this point, because yeah, it seems like they've got such a lead. Yeah, I don't think they really care. Either way. Admiral! <laughs> just rockins and tranquil boots? What's his bear got? His bear has got some decent items on him. He's got an armor, which he can leave on permanently. 
That she's always Skull nice. Basher, the Orb of Venom. Simple as that. Now, when are we going to see some more punishing pushes? <laughs> You'd hate to be one of these creeps. You're just living quietly in the jungle. The people just come in routinely to butcher you. Yeah, when you, when you think about it, they're just sitting there minding their own business, saying, just don't come into my home. That's all they're caring about. But instead... We come into that home. And kick the shit out of you every minute. <laughs> Every for some reason, they come back to life. But it's their fault for carrying gold on them. It's true. And experience. Yeah. Then we go down here. Oh, that's not even a question about that. He's surrounded by five of them. The whole team is there. And I can see bottom lane push going on here. Coddles TP to the top to try and push back the Prophet. Prophet has got a lot of money on him. Gee, he certainly does. He's got his buyback more, more well and truly covered. So he should be spending. Bottom tower, they're going to keep pushing. They're just down. rolling through this, the structures now. Oh, and that's a good stun to keep them out. <laughs> but it will only work for so long. Not long enough. Good stun by the yeah, it was a good stun. But in comes the hex stick. But it's just... It's not going to matter. They don't have the damage. Guys, now right Desolator. Just doesn't allow him buyback if he goes down. So that's risky play. They've, they're happy to let Coral just defend here. Because quite frankly, he can't really add that much to a team fight. To be honest, they did pretty well just to get them to back off there. Yeah, they did. Had the team there. Because you really... I mean, losing one barracks is bad, but losing a second one is... Yeah, Fnatic had the high ground as well. Yeah, that's true. They would. They should have need. To, they would have needed to drop a ward up around this region mm. here, but they're not too worried. Can't say they need to be. The invis. The invis right there. No nice dog. Not too interested. I the think gyrocopter might be. Yep. Oh no. No. No one gives a shit. That's how confident they are. <laughs> invis. Fuck off. Oh, hang on. Did someone come back? No, they haven't. Just walk past it again. Got a ghost sept on the Rubik here because he's he's only really worried about the uh, physical damage. Doesn't care about magic on this game. Which means he's basically saying, fuck you to Puck and Lashrak. <laughs> Ooh, a Void, which doesn't take the last creep down. Wasted Void! Lone Druid in the end uh, took the Invis. Good man. So there you go. And there he is, slowly just lurching. <laughs> and the Invis gone. Now they're going to try and take this bottom tower, I think. And Nature's Prophet just farming up here with his men. So they've regrouped, and this, well, good again, stun. it's another good stun. And they just think they might be able to pick this bear off, but I don't think it's going to happen just yet. We need to, because the second's about to die, we pop it again. Oh, don't even worry about popping. It's going to take down that melee barracks. There it is. Down it goes, like nothing at all. we got two lanes down, so, so brutal. I mean, really, is there much point playing on for any longer? That's true. They have to know there's no turning this around. Six for 21, even the team kills tell a tale of their own. Destruction. Yeah, exactly. Night Stalker, showing his stones yet again. Uh, <laughs> Here he comes. Oh, there's a trap head, but he's got he a punch. Oh! Where is he? Yes, he does. <laughs> Gyro's the first Oh! oh nice. Very nice. Oh, good stun there by the Earthshaker to save their track. But it's really just saving the scoreline at this stage. <laughs> saving their pride. 7 for 24, still over triple this good, the kills. And GG's there it is, GG's coming, coming out. Fnatic. That was... So you're crowned winners of Star Ladder, which I'm sure you knew about three months ago. Three months ago, that was only April 8th, I suppose. That's what, 11 days. <laughs> <laughs> Basically three months. Three months ago. There it is. The GG's come out. The you know what, it down. was really, really good game. I no thought by no tight on Just destruction there by the Night Stalker, the Gyro farmed up an absolute storm. Rubik with some crucial, crucial skills. And I mean, really, that's the game. <laughs>